Hey everyone, this is Nick here with Big Bike Japan. I am off work for most of the month of March due to the coronavirus, so I thought I should try to make the best use of my time、uh, by having a beer tasting. <laughs> so I went to the、uh, Local liquor store, not really liquor store, actually, it's a craft beer shop in Kita Senju,、uh, which is one subway stop from where I live.、Uh, so, anyway, the place is called Beer Ma. That's the receipt. Don't know why you would need to look at that. But,、uh, so yeah, they have a quite an extensive selection of beers that you can take home from the fridges. The prices unfortunately are consistent with what you can expect regarding beer prices in Japan.、Uh, specifically,、uh, imported beers are quite pricey. Actually, even、uh, the big brewery beers here are,、uh, I think, people back in the States would consider、um, a bit high. You can buy a six pack of Asahi or, or Kirin. Or Sapporo for about a little over 11 bucks, or Sen Hyakuen, 1,100 yen, give or take.、Um, and these beers, individual beers here, were all in the $10 range. So、uh, these are all、um, pints, I believe. This one says it's a pint.、Um, anyway, yeah, they're about. Yeah, about a pint roughly,、uh, 500 milliliters for a tall boy. And the total price was about $30. So maybe I'm going to have to edit that part out so that way Emmy <laughs> doesn't hear how much I spent on three beers. Yeah, this is、uh, for the equivalent of these, I probably could have gotten、uh, three six packs of Asahi. But anyway, the, the idea was to try something new, and the weather is actually really nice today.、Um, I think it's in the 60s, I believe, the low 60s.、Um, so, yeah,、uh, it's March, and spring, uh, uh, feel,、uh, spring is in the air, I guess, as they say. I forget what the saying is. But anyway, it's a nice day. So, to, I decided to buy this.、Uh, Still water,、um, ghosts gone wild.、Uh, ghosts, am I pronouncing that、uh, correctly?、Uh, those of you out there who are beer experts can correct my pronunciation in the comments.、Um, I am a big fan of ghosts, the ghost style.、Uh, it, it, I think, I believe that they traditionally in Germany would add salt into the beer. So it has a sort of tartness, refreshing. Um, taste to it, and it feels perfect for、uh, spring and summer, especially.、Um, so, the original plan was when I picked this one up, I thought, well, you know what, why not do if I'm going to do a taste testing, it's always best to do a taste testing of、uh, the same or very similar styles. So, I saw this、uh, beer, Extra Yum,、uh, brewed and canned by McKellar in San Diego, California.、Um, It's a Berliner Styler Weiss beer、uh, brewed with yum berry. I have no idea what yum berry is,、um, but anyway,、uh, 7.5% alcohol. I didn't know, I don't think that Berliner Weisses are usually、uh, that high. But anyway, what the Berliner Weiss style is, it's、uh, usually a、uh, basic Weiss beer with no real, like not a strong flavor, so that way、uh, you can add. I guess fruit syrups to it.、Uh, again, the beer experts who are more well versed on the Berliner Weiss, again, please let me know in the comments where I make mistakes. I'm not going to bother doing that much research before I decide to drink these.、Um, and then lastly, because I looked around and I just I couldn't find any other styles that match these, and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't getting、uh, beers from the same breweries, I decided to just go with your. Uh, traditional India Pale Ale、uh, from Evil Twin Brewery,、uh, the Falco. I don't think I've ever had 
Evil Twin Brewery before, and I thought I remember reading good things about them, so uh, I decided to pick it up. So anyway, we have a um, Ghost Gone Wild. This is from Stillwater Brewery. Uh, I don't know where Stillwater Brewery is from, uh, but anyway, that's not important to this. Uh, you obviously, there's a thing called Google that you can use after the video if you're interested. Again, the Mikeller Yum, a Berliner Stone of Ice, and the Evil Twin Brewing Falco. Um, I'm really happy with, uh, or happy, that's a silly statement to make. I like the presentation on the cans. They, I mean, they're pretty cool. Um, I didn't know, yeah, I honestly, I, they certainly had an influence on me deciding to to buy them and try them out since I knew that I was going to be splurging a little bit today. Uh, just to give you an idea of the prices, the Mikeller was about $11.50. The Stillwater was about $10 and the uh, Evil Twin Brewery was about nine bucks, just to give you an idea. Um, I could have drank these at Beer Ma. You can go into the beer fridge and then pay at the counter and drink the beer there, but they charge you a cover charge, or, or, or not cover charge, that's stupid. Um, they charge you a, uh, what do you call it? I guess with wine it's called a bottled uh, corkage fee. I don't know what you call that with beer, but they charge you essentially a corkage fee of about Nihyaku 200 yen or $2 to have the beer uh, drink there. Um, that means that you can get these beers and they'll still probably be cheaper than the beers on tap. They do have beers on tap at Beer Ma. Um, I honestly, when I go there, I always buy beers from the fridge to take home because again, the place is so close to me. Uh, but I guess maybe one day I'll go and I'll, I'll uh, try the beers there and maybe I'll bring my camera along and you guys can see what the place is like. It's pretty nice. Um, so anyway, without further ado, uh, I'm going to open up one of these at a time. Um, hopefully they're flavorful beers so I don't want to mix them up, uh, mix up the flavors and stuff and then ruin my taste buds. So I'm going to have one beer at a time so you'll have the enjoyment of watching me uh, I guess get tipsy over time and I will attempt to give you my my tasting notes um, Some of you, many of you may be thinking that uh, well, why is this? Uh, big by Japan, but you're drinking imported beers. Uh, I actually the very very original intent was to find some good Japanese Japanese craft beers to take home, but uh, I uh, was didn't find any that I thought were appetizing and rather than drink stuff that uh, I wasn't really interested in drinking and paying a premium for that, I decided, well, if I'm gonna be spending more than I know I really do on beer, I'm going to drink something I like. I'm sure that you can appreciate that. Anyway, again, let's uh, start first. I don't know. Um, so this is 4.3% volume by alcohol. This is, 7.5 and uh, this does not say clearly where, I'm sure it's here somewhere else, 7%. So I think I'm gonna save the IPA for last just because traditionally, yeah, because of the hops that uh, that will certainly probably cling to my palate more. So let's, uh, then we'll have the extra yum second to last. So we'll go with uh, the Ghost Gone Wild first. Um, is that a checkerboard? I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I have many beer glasses, um, but I don't have a traditional, just regular pint glass for one reason or another. Or maybe when we moved from Kaogoe to Tokyo, uh, it, we left it at that uh, in Kaogoe. I don't know. Anyway. Make a long story short, I am going to be using <laughs> my Premium Malt Suntory beer glass. I figured that would do the trick. I have a goblet, I have a Pilsner glass, um, I have a bunch of little tiny small beer glasses, 
and I have a, a vice one. I guess maybe I could do that, but this seems like, I don't know, this would work, okay? So, who cares about the glassware, right? So, anyway, let's open this baby up and see what it's like. Um, Alrighty, so I didn't pour all the way. It's kind of pale, light. Hmm, interesting nose. Yeah, I can, uh, smells like summer to me. So let's see. <sighs> yeah, definitely the ghost style that I remember. Um, honestly, I haven't, drank that much craft beer. I drank a decent amount, but not as much as I'd like to just because it's ex it's expensive here. So, um, uh, but yeah, I remember drinking Ghost back in the States and enjoying the style immensely. And this is, uh, I guess, quite true to the style. I don't think it's necessarily gone wild um, as the can proclaims it has. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a bit more uh, aggressive with the salty taste. Um, I don't think it's overbearing. I think it's nicely balanced. Um, if you've never had a ghost style, maybe you would puck your lips and think, what the hell is this a beer? But it is a good beer and it's the type, uh, I would not use the word Moorish, but it's the type that uh, you certainly want to put back a few. And because it's only 4.3%, you can call it a session beer. That's nice, yeah. Well, anyway, I'm going to stop uh, for a second. We'll be back in the future. And this way I can finish this beer and you don't have to watch me finish the whole thing. So stay there um, and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back to Big Bike Japan. Thank you for sticking around. Um, before we recommence with the beer tasting, I wanted to uh, say that I went back while I was enjoying my Ghost Gone Wild and reviewed the first part of the video and noticed that I had been touching my face quite often, which might have concerned those of you who are watching or not, who knows. Um, anyway, uh, just you're aware that uh, I think not that I'm one to be uh, giving health advisory announcements, but I wash my hand for a minimum of 20 seconds, uh, usually more, whenever I get home. And uh, the reason why I was scratching my face or touching it was because I had stupidly left the sliding doors behind me open, and it's currently the beginning of kafun or hay fever season here in Japan which I unfortunately suffer from. But anyway, I smartened up and closed the sliding door, so I will attempt to not touch my face in the video. I apologize if that was distracting. So anyway, um, the ghost gone wild. Um, hmm. It was pretty good beer. Uh, I would rate it a, with taste-wise, a four out of five. Uh, and drinkability, maybe a five, actually. Uh, it's, yeah, it's so easy to, to put back one of these. And maybe the nose or um, aroma, a, a three. Uh, so absolutely a solid beer. Is it worth $10? I can't say it is, um, especially since it's only 4.3% and for better or for worse, I think a lot of us feel that if we're going to be spending a uh, amount more than we normally do on something, we we want to get more bang for our buck. So anyway, uh, a very good beer. I recommend it if you can find it where you are. Um, unfortunately, again, here in Japan, it's going to probably cost you around $10 or, or senen, but definitely nice. And if I win the lottery, I will probably 
drink many and many, many, many of these on a hot summer afternoon. But until then, uh, nope. So, but good beer. Next, we are moving to Mikeller's Extra Yum. Um, I, I don't know. People have different opinions on McKellar. Um, I think their beers are a bit overpriced. I love their the, the artwork that they have, um, but uh, yeah, they're 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 not cheap beers. I've been to their bar in Shibuya, and yeah, the atmosphere is is definitely interesting. But uh, I uh, I don't know spending about thirteen dollars on like two hundred and fifty milliliters of a beer is is a uh, yeah i don't know it's not my thing so each to their own right but this is uh should be interesting a again berliner style vice beer so let's crack this baby open and see what it's like whoa i uh Pulled out a goblet because I remember the last time that I had a Berliner Weiss that they they drunk that it was it was poured into a goblet and obviously I drank it out of a goblet because I had no choice because that's what it was poured into. So this one poured a nice frothy head. It's uh, not as uh, as pale as the uh, the ghosts. Um, probably I presume that's because of the yumberry. Uh, if any of you know what a yumberry is, please leave comments below and let me know because, you know, as I indicated before, I have no idea. But uh, hmm. yeah, the head's kind of retained itself to a certain extent. So, all right, let's see what's up. Hmm. I guess that's the smell of yumberries. <sighs> hmm, interesting. Um, a bit tart as I expected, uh, much like the, the ghosts that I had drank earlier. Um, there's perhaps a hint of some type of syrupy substance that was poured into it. I uh, do not have the most refined palate, so I can't identify it, but it's nice. Um, I like the color. I mean, as long as the color's not disgusting, then uh, I don't really care what it looks like. But it's pretty nice. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. Okay. I guess I. <laughs> Maybe I'm uh, uh, stretching things here, but I, I, I guess I identify the the the. What I presume is the yum berry, but it's pretty good. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this fine beverage, and we will be back shortly. I ask again that you stick around. See you soon, or not. <laughs> 